Hey everybody, Patton here. So you guys showed interest in playing four player games on your Sega Genesis Mini. Hackchi makes this extremely easy to do. What I'm going to show you guys is completely done through the M2 Engage emulator, not through RetroArch or Genesis Plus GX, Pico Drive, anything like that. If there's interest in showing how this is done through RetroArch, leave a comment below and I'll try and get that done for you guys. The first step is to hack your system with HackGCE. I'll have a tutorial video in the description showing you how to do that, as well as the download link for the program. There is a set of games by Codemasters called JCart games that will not work with this method. I did a ton of testing with these games, and as of right now, they just will not work. And once you look at the cartridge, it's easy to see why. It was this crazy cart where it had two extra controller ports in the cartridge itself. And I've never heard of these before doing this testing. So it's really no wonder that these things do not emulate properly. I did get some of the games to run like Micro Machines, but I could not get four players working with them. Unfortunately, we have to leave those J-Cart games out of this video. But there's still a ton of four player games available to you guys. We're going to take a look at Gauntlet 4, The Lost Vikings, which is actually three players, Mega Bomberman, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, Tiny Toon Adventures Acme All-Stars, and WWF Raw. Like I mentioned, this is all running through M2 Engage, so make sure that your command line is correct when running these games. The only thing you have to do to enable four player mode is go to this max players option right here, change it to four, and that's it. We're gonna do that for the rest of our games. All that's left to do is hit this synchronize button right here. Let's head over to the Sega Genesis Mini and we'll take a look. Before we get started, let me show you my setup for all of this. So we have four controllers plugged in right now. Here's our Sega Genesis. In the controller one port, we have our three button Sega Genesis controller that came with the system. In our controller two spot with this white tag on it, we have our RetroBit eight button Sega Saturn USB controller. Since we only have two controller ports, you have to use an OTG adapter to get controllers three and four. If we take a closer look at our OTG adapter through all of these wires, this may look familiar to some of you. Our controller three will be a PlayStation Classic controller. And for our fourth and final controller, we don't have wires. We have our Bluetooth adapter and our OTG. We're working with the 8-bit Do Famicom 30 Pro controller. As you can see, this is kind of a mess. We have cords going anywhere. So my suggested way of doing this is you get one Bluetooth adapter, plug it into one of the controller ports over here, and get four Bluetooth controllers. That will save you all the hassle of these wires. The first thing you can do with four players is every controller can control the main menu. That includes sub-menus like the settings, I believe I'm correct in saying this. Any wired controller you have is going to take a controller spot before any Bluetooth controllers. Meaning, if you have three controllers hooked up wired like this, and then you have a Bluetooth, the Bluetooth will always be four player. So if we had a Bluetooth adapter plugged into the player one or two spot, this would still be considered player four. All right, let's test some of these games out. We'll start out with Gauntlet 4. Let's hit start on a few of these controllers here. Player two is the Valkyrie. Player one's the Warrior. Player three, the Wizard. Player four, the Elf. Here's the Valkyrie. Our warrior and our wizard.
To access the menu with your three button controller, you can still hold down the start button. And once again, any of the controllers can control the menu. But if you have a controller with a select button, like the Epito controller, hitting select will bring up that menu. Same with the PlayStation Classic controller. For the Sega Saturn controller, we hit the L button. Now with this Tiny Toons game, the other options for players won't even show up unless you have the correct amount of controller. So if we hit left and right, we can select how many players we want. So here's our four player option. For Mega Bomberman, you have to go down and select four combatants. And the last game we have here is The Lost Vikings. I've never actually played this game. It was pretty popular back in the day. I used to read about it all the time in magazines. I never really understood what kind of game it was, if it was action or something else. So to play Lost Vikings with three player mode, go to your options and choose three players. Although there's some side scrolling elements, this is actually a puzzle game, a three player co-op puzzle game. And each player gets to control one of these three Vikings. You can see at the top that all three of the portraits are highlighted. When you're playing a one player mode, those options are actually grayed out, and to switch between your players you have to push start and left or right. So our player 1 Viking doesn't have any way to defend against that laser, but the player 3 Viking does. So if we pick up our player 3 controller, he's got a shield, he can block the laser so the other guy can either come up and he won't be hit by the laser or he can do whatever. Looks like the camera's focused on the player one Viking. So we have one more Viking to take a look at. He's used with the player two controller. He's the offensive Viking. You can attack with a sword or for ranged attacks, you have a bow and arrow. 
I thought this was just the coolest thing because I've never, I don't do a lot of puzzle games. And to have a co-op three player game like this is so cool to me. I think this would be so much fun to play with a couple friends. And that's it, four player games using M2 Engage on your Sega Genesis Mini and Hack GCE. I'll leave a couple videos in my description showing you how the Bluetooth works and how to add extra storage or to use an OTG adapter. And that's it for me. I hope this video was useful to you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is the part of the video where I thank those users who support the channel through YouTube memberships and Patreon. Eric Cologne, Jordy Alex, Mike Muniz, Sam Torres, Dor, Yaroslav Orudzov, Den Cardoso, Andre G, Randy Day, and Batman.